Hello once again. Uh, this is a Sepak Pit Design tutorial number one. It's actually a carryover from Sepak introduction. If you have been following my tutorials, in this tutorial we will design a single wall pit. Uh, we will basically de designate better wall angle for the design. I uh, will. Digitize the pit limits. Actually, the uh, pit limits have been digitized uh, in uh, the intro tutorial. I will create a pit wall. I will use the function expand segment by bench height, and then we'll finish off with uh, creating a DTM. A bit like before, I'll start my setback 6.5.1. Now in the later stages, I'll show you how to create a pitch with the multiple benches. But for this one, I'll just show you the basics one wall pit. Uh, it doesn't make uh, sense, but that's for training purpose only. It doesn't uh, reflect a real pit or real or body. <coughs> It's taking time to load. Okay, um, like before, I'll just drill down to my working folder, go to set a tutorial, and then just click on pit design, and I just set this work directly. Okay, that's an ultimate pit uh, that I've uh, created. It's basically similar to what we've done in that uh, intro tutorial, intro number two, tutorial number two for introduction. So this is the ultimate uh, pit. I want to check the RLCD zone. I'll do an IP, like we land in. And then it's on RL900, uh, Z value of 900. That's good. That's what we did in tutorial one. Just check the errors. Um, they are good. Okay, I have to set the parameters for the wall. I said 55 degree. What you can do is you come down to the very bottom and then you click away it says angle. Set so designate grade. Click on that. There's options for angle, percentage, uh, and then ratios. So I will be using angle, so I'll make angle the default. And then I type in 55 degrees and then it gives me the equivalent of the other there so it's the ratio is 0 0.7 percentage is 142 then go okay I go apply okay a function I'll be using to bring this wall up but just uh, basically zoom so you can see everything uh, is um, this function here Expand segment by bench height. So I click that, and then it asks me to select the segment to be expanded. Just click this, and then I want to expand it by 300 meters. I'll leave the 300 meters default. Oh, it can go whatever that is required. And then up, it's going to go up, and I go the horizontal direction, it's going to expand. So I'll just go apply and it does that for me. And that's it. I've created a <coughs> go save it, apply. And it's there. You just check the RL on what RL it is. RL uh, 1200 or you can do it the other way I delete this I delete this and then I, I can tell it to expand to RL or uh, elevation so I click on this function here like this I give 1200 
target elevation up expand and apply that's the same thing check the rl again escape every time you want to get out ip 1200 that's it i'm happy with that i'll just go save and then i want to create a dtm uh, it's there's a there's some other dtm functions create dtm functions but uh, the simple simplest one just to be able to do a quick one is this one here create dtm from the current layer you just click that uh, one gives you a dull color so I'll just uh, select uh, say 4 and then uh, no break line test just unmark it and then click apply now you got um, something that looks like a plate uh, I don't see it as a pit but that's what you have so you can rotate uh, and see what you've got <laughs> That's the uh, basic uh, design tutorial. Thank you.